Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about ISO IEC 27001 standard. So let's say there is an organization, in that organization we can have different uh, persons, uh, there's different people working on different computers, they can have different routers and switches, they might be using some application programs, they might be using some, you know, of course they, they will have some operating systems and they all can be vulnerable to at cyber attacks and so in this case the organization needs some guidelines and those guidelines uh, they, they so that they can use those guidelines to protect their network against those cyber attacks and here ISO has introduced uh, a series of standards that is ISO IEC 27000 series and that was published in 2005 and that was revised in 2013 and I think after every five years it gets revised. So yes, these are the set of guidelines or these are the standards are best practices which are given by ISO to organizations to help them secure their IT or infrastructure or to help them from cyber attacks. So the basic goal so the best in 27,000 standard, there's a series of standard, 27,001 standard is the, I think, I think the most, I mean, the important one. And the basic goal of that standard is to protect three aspects of information. Because information is something which is the most important aspect or most important asset of any organization. And it's there to to protect the three aspects of information and those aspects are confidentiality. It means ISO 27001 helps organization to maintain the confidentiality of, that inf of their information. And confidentiality means the information is only available to authorized user. No unauthorized user should have access to that. And then integrity, that is the information is accurate and co complete. And the third aspect is availability so that authorized users have access to information when they need it. Now these organizations are given these guidelines and standards or the best practices which they can use for their ISMS. So ISMS is the information security management system. So that's actually a management system that defines policies and procedures for an organization to ensure that the security measures are appropriate to defend against threats. So they need some guidelines. And those guidelines are provided by ISO 27001 and those guidelines can be used by any organization irrespective of its size or the nature of business. And then companies can also get certified against these standards. Let's say some of the organizations say that we are following all the guidelines given by ISO 27000. It means they have assessed all the vulnerabilities there in their organization and they have taken appropriate measure against them. And if they follow those standards, then maybe they can apply for the certification from some accredited body. And once they got certification, they can have uh, some kind of logo like this and then they can uh, announced with proud that we have we are following those guidelines but remember these are not the guarantee that their their system is 100 percent secure from the cyber attacks but this means they are following the best practices available or uh, best practices given by the iso that is actually international organization for standardization and uh, ISO 27000 series is as important for cybersecurity professional or cybersecurity organization as is the OSI model for network engineer. You remember OSI model covers everything about networking. It means 27000 might be covering everything about uh, security. And now ISO 27001, so this is actually 27001. This is composed of two main parts. And the first part has clauses and these clauses are from 0 to 10. And so they define the foundational requirement of ISO 27001. And out of those 10 clauses, the clause from 0 to 3, they give introduction to terms and definition of ISO 27000 standard. But now the clause from 4 to 10, they give the mandatory requirement if any company wants to uh, to be ISO 27000 compliant. 
It means now they have this specific guideline that if you want to be 27,000 compliant, then you need to do this, 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 and this thing. For example, they can have some, some password policy requirement. They can have physical constraint, for example, what kind of constraint um, an organization should have so that the devices should be secure physically, for example. So they will have this mandatory requirement and this is the this is the first part and the second main part is the Annex A and this Annex A provides guidelines to support clause and the mandatory requirement. So let's say here they have the mandatory requirement. It means they need to have something to provide the details guideline to achieve those mandatory requirements. And in this Annex A, it has 114 control objectives and these controls are there to support these clause and the requirements and these controls are organized in 14 sections and these sections are sometimes also called domains and these domains are each domain has a direct relationship with, it, with other domains now these 14 sections are given as follows and i have taken these all uh, from wikipedia you can refer to wikipedia again for 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 the details so you can see in, in these all 14 sections, they are uh, giving the details about information security policies, organization of information security, human resources security, and then in, in every section or in every domain, they, these many controls are there and they are control and these controls are giving a specific direction that how to achieve those things. And says there, we can have human resource security, six controls that are applied before, during, and after employment. So for example, if an employee joins your organization, what should be the policies applied to him or her? And during his or her job and after employment, what should be done? And then we have asset management, access control, cryptography, physical and environmental security, operation security, communication security, system acquisition, development, and maintenance, supplier relationship, information security, incident management, information security aspects of business continuity management, compliance with internal requirements such as policies and with external requirements such as laws. So these all are the controls which are uh, recommended by the ISO 27000 standard. And if organizations follow them, then they are, they are, they can have some certification and this, they, it means they are following the best available standards or the best available guidelines in cybersecurity world. So that's it. I just went through these, some of the requirements are the importance of ISO 27001 very briefly. And they are, I mean, they are many, very much details. And of course, if we want to purchase this document, then they, this, this is, I think this is a paid document we can purchase. It, as well and then we can have further detail on that and of course there are many blogs and tutorials which which are explaining it in details so thank you thank you everyone for your time and hope to see you in some other video related to cyber security